Even though Tom Brady ended his career, at least for now, with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you can't talk about Tom Brady without talking about the New England Patriots and head coach Bill Belichick, who after Tom Brady won a Super Bowl after leaving New England, after going to Tampa and leaving Bill Belichick, it does seem like there's a little more pressure on Bill Belichick to show that, hey, I can do something without Tom Brady. Unfortunately, when you look at the quarterback position for the New England Patriots, they've had some major problems since losing the future Hall of Fame quarterback, and it begins and ends with Mac Jones. We saw Mac Jones struggle a lot last year, including a time where he got replaced by rookie quarterback Bailey Zappi in the middle of the game, benched and replaced. And it looks like from the outside looking in, there was a lot of pressure on Mac Jones and maybe he should be replaced, whatever. But also internally, even the players in the locker room, they were split on who they thought should be their quarterback day in, day out. And now Devin McCourty, who was recently retired from the Patriots, is admitting exactly that. Devin McCourty admits Patriots were split between Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi during last season. Moving the football was an issue for the Patriots during 2022. While the offense as a whole struggled mightily, the Pats averaging just 208 yards passing per game paints a very clear picture of how grim things were. Much of the poor offensive output falls on the shoulders of Mac Jones, who saw his completion percentage drop in year two compared to his rookie campaign while throwing just 14 touchdowns in 14 games. Jones missed time after picking up an ankle injury, which paved the way for Bailey Zappi to take over. And we know that, I think it was sometime in October, is it was a primetime game. They benched Mac Jones and put in Bailey Zappi. And he had a couple flashes and stuff like that, but it didn't last very long. But now Devin McCourty is admitting that there was a controversy. These players did not know who to rally behind. And when you have this kind of discussion, it really means you got a quarterback fucking problem, all right? I think player-wise, is a quote from McCourty, I think player-wise there was enough trust that we were going to put the best guy out there, but the struggles on offense, I think there were some guys in the locker room that were like, let's go with Bailey Zappi, or no, Mac looked good today. It was a back and forth, which to me spoke more about what we had on offense than the quarterback. We were never solidified as an offensive group that guys had full confidence in anything we were doing. There was never true hope. That is a big statement on the current state of the New England Patriots. Bill Belichick has a very tall task on his plate. Like I said, I think he's obviously so accomplished all the Super Bowls that they've won in New England. But I do think with Tom Brady moving on to Tampa Bay, with the success in Tampa Bay, I do think Bill Belichick wants to add another notch to his belt before he officially retires. But I don't know if Mac Jones is going to be that guy. It looks like no one in the New England locker room thought that Mac Jones would be that guy. So now what do you do going forward? Let me know what you think about this revelation from Devin McCourty that even the players aren't really behind Mac Jones and what this could mean for the next couple years for the New England Patriots. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.